Hello everyone and welcome again to our Value Experience Daily Tip. It is a beautiful new day. We are thankful for life, for health, for strength. I'm Dr. Giselle Miller here in beautiful St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And today I just want to remind someone or remind us all that it's important for us to control ourselves. Control, exercise restraint, exercise wisdom in terms of how we respond and the choices we make and how we carry ourselves because we know everything has a repercussion a consequence everything has an impact be it good or bad and i speak this in reference to persons who like to respond to things that might create a fight or persons who are being baited into fights that Really and truly, it's not even your fight. It's not your battle. But you allow yourself to be pulled in for different reasons. And then you lose control of yourself. You lose control of your emotions. And when we begin to react emotionally, we tend to lend ourselves to do and say things that would allow us not to look um, in the best light. And then we post things like, oh, you only see my reaction, but you didn't see what the other person did or said. That may be the case, but if we exercise control, then there wouldn't be a need for us to now make a disclaimer about what we have done. I know it's easier said than done that there are times when we feel we always have to respond or we always have to um, defend ourselves. We always have to be in a position to make sure others understand how we feel and we are not a pushover. But literally, control shows more strength than anything else that when you're able to look people in the eye, knowing what they're doing, they're being devious, they're being um vindictive and evil or whatever they're doing and you can look them in their eyes and still not respond in a way that is going to lower your energy lower your your character your integrity it says a lot that says that you have extreme strength so don't always feel that your strength is where you have to actually um lash out hit speak sometimes silence is the mm -hmm. best strength you can ever show because in that moment where you are restraining yourself and controlling yourself, that's where your strength emerges because now persons are seeing that you're not easily manipulated, you're not easily baited. And in so doing, you may find that they up the ante in terms of what they're doing to try and pull you up more, or they realize that, okay, this is not an easy pushover, and they walk away. But either way whether or not they want to be worse at what they're doing or walk mm -hmm. away it still leaves you a place where you have a sense of pride and joy and your integrity is intact so you don't have to feel um that sense of regret or shame or guilt because you would have done something that really does not personify or does not reflect who you are on the inside Okay, so remember, mm -hmm. exercise control. There are going to be mm -hmm. triggers every single day. And the more we work towards understanding our triggers, the more we work towards recognizing our triggers, the more we are able, we are likely to be able to control them. Because when you are able to see it, you're able now to manage it. Okay, so let us be wise and open our eyes to ourselves, be aware of what we are feeling, what we are thinking. And even as we are aware of that, make sure that it is in alignment with the person, the integrity that we have, um, you know, that the image that we have, the brand that we put forward, because all of this matters. Do not be caught out. Yes, there are going to be moments where um, you might be caught out because you give in easily in that moment but let it not be a continuous practice okay because the things that you repeatedly do becomes who you are it shows persons who you are okay so let's be mindful of that mm -hmm. exercise control exercise restraint be the one to walk away be the one to elevate and let your frequency your energy go higher when everybody else is trying to go low 
when you recognize the bait that is being thrown out for you, you decide, is this something I need to respond to? Is this a fight that I want? Is this a battle that is necessary? Because a lot of times it is not necessary. Okay. And I've learned over the years, especially in this last two years of my life, a lot of persons, a lot of things, persons were trying to bait me into certain things and i decided to take myself out of the equation take myself out of the firing line and before you know it the person sometimes who come at you trying to attack and to you know defame and to do all of these things to hurt you when you take yourself out of the the firing line when you take yourself out of it they end up fighting amongst themselves okay so be mindful that not everything you have to respond to, not everything you have to be drawn into. There are some things that are not worth it. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. And it's just better that you just simply go on. And even when you have to play dumb, you know, I, I remember growing up hearing this statement, play dumb to catch wise or play fool to catch wise or something like that. Because if you are always being triggered and persons are pulling your strings you become the puppet and they become the puppet masters and we don't want to give anyone that sort of power or authority over you okay so remember you have the power to control yourself and make sure you control yourself control your emotions control your responses because in the end it reflects who you are more than anything else mm -hmm. okay so be the best version of yourself try to uplift those characteristics those attributes that you are proud of about yourself and let that shine through even when others are going low and doing nasty things you don't need to do that just stand firm stand high fly high and let it be that your goodness, your integrity, and everything will speak for itself. And you don't even have to bat an eyelash or you don't even have to say a word. All right? That's it, guys. That's a tip for today. Be a blessing. Be great. Be wonderful. Touch mm -hmm. someone's life in a positive way. Be an inspiration. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And I just want to shout out. Hi, Colin. Um, hey, Deborah. Happy Tuesday. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Deborah says, when we, when we recognize, we'll be able to control. Yes, definitely. This sometimes gives me so much stress. Hi, Alana. Hi, Delia. Good to have you on. Terrific Tuesday to you as well. Alana says, sometimes it's good to be wise and play the game of a fool. <laughs> that is true. That is definitely true. You're welcome, Delia. And hi, Cindy. Good morning. Hi, Deborah. I hope I didn't miss anyone. And if I did, I'm so sorry. But sometimes it's so difficult to navigate and to go back up with the messages. All right. So have a blessed day and touch someone's life. You know, be be that high frequency of powerful, positive energy today. Much love to you. Take care. Bye-bye.